I'm sitting here, I thought I would make another Q&A for the, my library Q&A. I've got a few questions left. So today's question is, are libraries still necessary even though everyone has the internet now? Or um, has library use dropped because people have the internet? Um, there's a lot of kind of variations on this theme that get spoken of when people talk about whether libraries are still necessary. And I did touch on this in my previous video, just talking about libraries in general, which is that um, yes, people are still using libraries, even though the internet exists. Our circulation anyway, and our uses have gone up in the last few years for a number of reasons, but the big reason why libraries are still useful, even though the internet exists, is that not everyone, and quite a lot of people actually, still don't have the internet at home or computers. They are definitely more common in everyone's house, uh, you know, and from a certain socioeconomic perspective, you probably might not know someone who doesn't have the internet or a computer at home because it is more common, but these things still are relative luxuries for a large portion of society. And there are people that uh, have to make a choice between paying for food and paying for internet or affording new clothes for their children and affording a computer. Um, these are still difficult choices that a lot of people have to make and it's really kind of a no-brainer There's certain things that are more necessary. I know than the internet so um, People come to the library to use the internet and use computers a lot of time um, We're definitely seeing it's more the Wi-Fi people are coming to use Wi-Fi a bit more than they're coming to use computers That is we always have someone on the computers, but it used to be that all the computers would be full and we'd have a waiting list and we'd have to check like you've had your hour on the computer now it's time for another person and that sort of thing um, these days it's not so much it doesn't always get to be so packed because people bring their own devices whether it's their smartphone or a tablet or a laptop that sort of thing um, but people do make use of the wi-fi and the computers we still get a lot of questions for computer help i mentioned this in my previous library video where i helped a woman sign up for gmail and she didn't know what google was she had never heard of gmail before but she needed a a web-based email which she never had an email address before um, there are a lot of people who don't have the level of experience with computers and technology that we do it's no fault of anyone it is just the reality of different economic spheres if you've never had a computer at home or if you worked a job that didn't necessarily require you to be sat at a computer you might not have that experience and the difficulty that we're seeing now is that because computers are so common and so widespread that there is a level of expectation that comes along with people's presumptions that everyone must know how to work a computer and that's certainly not the case and it's not um, it's not related to ages either it's not just like oh the elderly people don't know anything about computers I mean we're teaching 13 year olds how to open save and print documents that they need for school kids don't they're not born knowing how to use computers children um, naturally have more of an ease with trying new things i think than sometimes older people do so people just think oh digital natives they know everything about computers if these children don't have computers at home for all of the reasons that there could be um, they still have to learn all of the things that the rest of us do when you're learning a new tool so um, we're living in a society that assumes that people should know things and then if there are people who have never had a chance to learn those things it's a source of embarrassment or shame or even just frustration or just like Ooh, computers who cares about them I'm just not gonna bother with it um, because we're not making it easier for people to to learn so that's where the libraries come in um, because we have computers that people can try out and use and we have staff on hand that can help people when they're doing things um, the library really makes those resources available and that is extremely helpful for a lot of people so yes shorter answer is that no, the internet has not rendered libraries obsolete. And I didn't even get into the whole like authority of resources online and stuff like that. You know, we all know we can't believe everything that we read online, although the internet is a powerful research tool that we use as well, but we try to teach kids, especially um, how to evaluate web resources and what to look for and 
and things like that. So uh, the libraries can be a tool in teaching people how to use technology to better their research skills, as well as offering the traditional print resources that we have, like encyclopedias and books and stuff like that. So um, yeah, libraries are not going away because of the internet.